Hello there guys, I hope everyone's having a great start to 2022. Today's video is going to be about how you can profit on the lay bet and also the win bet on these random occasions that this uh, type of thing happens in. Uh, I thought it was going to happen today and that's what spurred the video on. Uh, by the way, if you haven't looked at my channel, you can see all different types of things in here. Bad each way betting, bet365 accounts, dobbing on Betfair trading, two up, uh, cash out button and also transferring from match betting to Betfair trading, what to do without doing your nads. So today's video was brought about by an incident that happened in the 2.45 at Nace, which is a race course in Ireland. Now these two horses were having a headbutting match in the race and it looked like there was going to be a steward's inquiry, but there wasn't. Now in the event that this was a steward's inquiry, and let's say I had a match bet where I'd laid Bron to um, in, a, in an arve, say for example, and therefore I would have lost the lay bet on Bron if Bron had won and won off the, bet in, off the bookmaker. But if these results had been reversed in a steward's inquiry, I would have won from the exchange and also won from there. Reason why is because it'll be the first past the post rule that most good bookmakers do. I'm not going to, it's, it's more of a case of what bookmakers don't do this. This is my Twitter handle, by the way, Arbor Hunter at Arbor Hunter. I'll leave the link down below. Now, I'm not going to specify what bookmakers don't. Firstly, because I can't be asked. Secondly, because things are always changing in match betting. I've done this before. I've been very specific on this channel. I like to think of this channel as an educational channel, more than an affiliate channel. I do encourage my users to, the viewers to click the links and that because if I'm putting a video out, then why not click the links? But at the same time, I want to do education at, at the same time. So this tweet here, this um, Twitter account, by the way, BHA Stewards is the one to go to if you want to see non-runners and what's happening in a steward's inquiry. Now, the last steward's inquiry that I found that reversed the placings was this one here on the 13th. Now, these happen, I'd say, almost every day or every other day, but it's <clears throat> probably about one in seven that get... I don't know the stats, so please shoot me down if I'm wrong because I probably am wrong. Maybe one in seven that get reversed. So this time, this horse here, there's a steward's inquiry. And now what the BHA will do is they'll post up on Twitter, steward's inquiry, right? And then afterwards, they said on here, the steward's inquiry, placings have been revised as follows. First, precisely, second, Hufflepuff. Now let's have a look at the result on Sporting Life. So this was the race here. Hufflepuff actually came first and precisely came second. And it was beaten by a neck. But because Hufflepuff done something wrong in the race, or the jockey charged into precisely, we'll find out in a minute, the result was amended. So let's say that I had my bet on Hufflepuff, I had my arb on Hufflepuff, or my match bet, or whatever you had it on it, and you'd laid Hufflepuff. You would, in this situation, win on Hufflepuff from the bookmaker, because it's first past the post, but you'd also win from the bookie, because you had laid Hufflepuff. So this is where it is similar to two up because you win from the lay and you win from the back bet also. And I'm going to show you at the end of this video how you can look to lock in a profit either way because sometimes this doesn't happen. Now I took a screenshot of the race today, this race here, of what happened after it went past the post. And as you can see by this screenshot, they were still betting on the odds of this horse here, this Bron at 1.07 or something. Now what I would do in this instance is if I had a backed flame bearer or the horse that was going to get awarded the race, let's do an example on Hufflepuff and Precisely. Hufflepuff won the race, Precisely comes second, but it ended up switching. So Precisely come first and Hufflepuff comes second. In that instance, I would be looking, if Precisely was say 1.1 to lay or 1.2 to lay or something like that, or 1.05, I would have, say, a £20, £30 lay bet on that because that way I'm locking in a profit, whatever happens, because even if the horse that has got... But sometimes you'll see on the markets, on, say, Betfair, for example, that they're offering odds on the horse 
that is come second and they'll make that odds on and that's where you can lock in the profit but going back to this uh bha twitter um account where they said stewards inquiry here we'll see the reaction of some of the people here and they were saying um a horse in second had to stop riding to prevent going through the rail lost by a short head overturned for sure so this guy or girl was right sam didn't stop riding five years ago this would never have been chucked out and it's probably a 50 50 based on the recent decisions million percent overturned jockey head so this is all almost in real time that they're putting this through and then someone's jumped in this gone it's been reversed which means but what i'm trying to get at is in these instances when this happens you should be looking at this thinking yes yes there's a chance of having some money here the more blatant the interruption of the horse, the more chance this is going to happen. It doesn't have to also be a steward's inquiry that creates a reversal. A jockey can object. This happens a lot less than steward's inquiries. A jockey can object to another jockey's riding and say he interfered with me. The stewards will then look into it. Even steward's inquiry stewards uh, do get a bit of heat sometimes from the media saying that they might be bent because of Betfair. I don't think they're bent on that because I just don't leave it in the comments, guys, down below. But I hope that's um, opened your eyes up to that, guys. Uh, I would look at overlaying this if I get the opportunity, if it's like 1.2 or 1.1, that kind of price. Um, and always have a look around at these kind of things. Because I, another thing I do is I like to lay um, photo finishes when you've had a photo finish and... I did do a video about that before. I'm going to recreate the video, but you can also find that on my channel. So I hope you found this video helpful today, guys. Always have a look out for this first past the post opportunity because they do fly by and you can overlay in the circumstances. And even just because something is like 1.05 odds, it does sometimes uh, end up the other, uh, other result. So always keep an eye out, guys. The next video will be out in a couple of days. Please subscribe as I'll be smashing the videos out this month and all the best. Good luck.